BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. Let's go! Turn the volume down. Get a blessing. <laughs> Turn to the um, Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 5. Vamos a abrir nuestras Biblias al Evangelio de Mateo, capítulo 5. Uh, there's a new PowerPoint, Tristan. We're uh, going on to the next slide. We're doing Matthew chapter 5, colon 8.3. Estamos en Mateo este capítulo 5 colon 8.3 We are um, on part number 29. Esta es la parte 29. It has taken us 29 weeks to get through 8 verses. Nos ha tomado 29 semanas para revisar 8 versículos. One of the things I find with most people una de las cosas que encuentro con la mayoría de personas is they're not willing to take the time to study our Father's work. Que no están dispuestos a tomar el tiempo para estudiar la palabra de nuestro Padre. They take the title of um, Christian or Messianic Jew and they know nothing about God's work. Ellos toman el título de cristiano o judío mesiánico y no conocen nada sobre la palabra. You can call yourself whatever you want doesn't mean that you are that person. Te puedes te puedes llamar lo que tú quieras, pero no significa que eres esa persona. So with this study what we're doing is nice and slow and really in depth. So lo que estamos haciendo con este estudio es tomándolo bien lento y y y, y profundo. Okay? The messages are really fast. La, los mensajes son bastante ligeros. They're only three hours. Solamente son tres horas. And we almost kept it to three hours this week. Y, y casi nos quedamos en tres horas esta semana. All right, going on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Look at Matthew 5, verse 48. We're going to be reviewing right now. Vamos a repasar Mateo capítulo 5, versículo 48. Matthew 5, verse 48. Mateo capítulo 5, versículo 48. Therefore, be perfect, just as your Father in the heaven is perfect. Uh, this is the end of the first part of Yeshua's discourse. Este es el, el final de la primera parte del discurso de Yeshua. It is a three-part discourse. Es un discurso de tres partes. Starting in Matthew, uh, the end of Matthew 4 through chapter 7. Eh, comenzando en el final de, de Mateo capítulo 4 al capítulo 7. Uh, as I said during this study, Como dije durante este estudio, this is the perfect line for Christians who say we can't follow the law. Esta es una línea perfecta para aquellos cristianos que dicen que no podemos guardar la ley. Okay, Yeshua said, be perfect. Yeshua dijo, sea perfecto. Would he give you something that was not achievable? Él te, te, dar, te daría algo que no es alcanzable? No, I don't believe he would. No, no pienso que él lo haría. I don't think he would be giving us the uh, uh, carrot in front of the horse. No pienso que él nos daría la zanahoria delante del caballo. I don't think that was Yeshua's ministry. Yo no pienso que ese fue el ministerio de Yeshua. So he's telling us to be perfect. So él nos está diciendo que seamos perfectos. Now what we've been studying here is to be perfect. Lo que hemos estado estudiando aquí es ser perfecto. And today, uh, hopefully, we'll get through the review. Y 
Espero este, pasar por el repaso hoy día. And then get to the issue of the heart. Y llegar al asunto del corazón. Going on to next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Let's read Matthew 5, verse 1 through 7. Vamos a leer Mateo capítulo 5, versículos 1 al 7. Matthew 5, verse 1 through 7. Mateo capítulo 5, versículos 1 al 7. Seeing the crowd, Yeshua walked up the hill. After he sat down, this Talmudin came to him. He began to speak. This is what he taught them. How blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. How blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. How blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. How blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. How blessed are those who show mercy, they will be shown mercy. Now in the last 29 weeks, Ahora, en las últimas 29 semanas, we've gone real in depth into each one of these verses. Nos hemos profundizado en cada uno de estos versículos. So I'm not going to go real deep into it today. So no nos vamos a profundizar en estos hoy. Except to uh, go over real quickly each verse. Excepto repasar ligeramente cada versículo. When Yeshua began to speak, people began to listen. Cuando Yeshua comenzó a hablar, la gente comenzaron a escuchar. Yeshua's whole ministry is about calling people to repentance. El ministerio completo de Yeshua fue llamar a las personas al arrepentimiento. And if you don't understand that, look at message number 635. Y si no entiendes eso, mire, mire el mensaje 635. His ministry was not to release people without repentance. Su ministerio no fue este, liberar, liberar las personas sin arrepentimiento. Now, when you understand that, cuando entiendes eso, that Yeshua himself, que Yeshua mismo, said that I've come here to call people to repent. Que él dijo que él vino a llamar a, a la gente al arrepentimiento. So that means if you're fornicating, significa que si estás fornicando, he's going to tell you what you're doing is wrong. Te va a decir lo que estás haciendo está mal. He's going to judge your action. Te va a juzgar tus acciones. If you're gambling, si estás jugando juegos de azar, he's going to tell you to stop gambling. He's going to judge that action. Él va a decir que pare. Él, él va a juzgar esa acción. If you're eating crab's legs, si estás comiendo cangrejos, he's going to tell you that's disgusting. Now stop eating that garbage. Él va a decir que es repugnante que deje de estar comiendo esas cosas. He didn't come to let you start eating all the things that are disgusting. Él no vino para este, permitirte comer las cosas que son repugnantes. Now, once you understand that from chapter 4, ya cuando entiendas eso de, del capítulo 4, um, then when you read verse 3, Matthew 5, verse 3, entonces cuando lees Mateo capítulo 5, versículo 3, how the blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are those who are weak in their own power. Bienaventurados aquellos que son débiles en sus propios poderes. That, they, that you focus on God. Que te enfocas in Dios. That's what most people do not understand. Eso es lo que la mayoría de personas no entienden. There is nothing going on in this world that is not in the control of God. No hay nada que esté sucediendo en este mundo que no esté bajo el control de Dios. Except your own personal actions. Excepto tus acciones personales. Everything else is under God's control. Lo demás está bajo del control de Dios. But don't worry if you're not doing what he wants you to do. Pero no te preocupes que si no, es, no estás haciendo lo que él quiere que hagas. He'll get your attention one way or another. Él va a tomar va a tomar tu atención de una manera u otra. Okay. So poor in spirit. So pobre en espíritu. The globalists have no authority over us. Los mundanos no tienen autoridad, autoridad sobre nosotros. The government nosotros. has no authority over us. El gobierno no tiene autoridad sobre nosotros. If we follow our God, if we're poor in spirit, we trust in our God. Si nosotros seguimos a nuestro Dios, si somos pobres en espíritu, confiamos en nuestro Dios. Then the kingdom of heaven will be ours. Entonces el reino del, del, del cielo será de nosotros. And we will be ruling the world. Y vamos a estar reinando en el mundo. But when we don't follow God, Pero cuando no seguimos a Dios, then God brings his tools. Entonces Dios trae sus herramientas, and he lets those tools go loose. Y él permite que esas herramientas se rieguen. Like homosexuality is not something 
that God can't control. Como el homosexualismo no es algo que Dios no puede controlar. But why should he control it? Pero por qué él, por, por qué él debe de controlarlo? When we don't want to follow his ways. Cuando nosotros no queremos seguir sus, cam sus caminos, sus... Yeah, okay, sus caminos. so the blessed are the poor in spirit for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Bienaventura... Da, bienaventurados los pobres en espíritu porque el reino de cielos es de ellos. Then we moved on to verse 4. Entonces seguimos al versículo 4. How blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted. Bien, mourning, not mourning as in AM, but mourning as in death. Eh, lamentando como en, en muerte. You're mourning the loss of God's word in the community. Estás lamentando la pérdida de la palabra de Dios en la comunidad. That's what most people are not. Mourning. Eso es lo que la mayoría de personas no están lamentando. They're mourning the loss of a job. Ellos están lamentando la pérdida de un trabajo. They're mourning loss of prosperity. Están lamentando la pérdida de prosperidad. Why is the government so bad? ¿Por qué el gobierno es tan malo? Why are the, the globalists ru ruling the world? ¿Por qué los, los globalistas están este, gobernando el mundo? Idiots like, um, you know, you. this uh, guy from Infowars doesn't understand what he's looking at. El idiota de InfoWars no entiende lo que le está mirando. He has no clue. No tiene idea. Because he's not mourning the loss of God's word in our society. Porque él no está lamentando la pérdida de la palabra de Dios en nuestra sociedad. The church is not mourning the loss of God's word in our society. La iglesia no está lamentando la pérdida de la palabra de Dios en nuestra sociedad. But when you look at verse 4, pero cuando miras al versículo 4, oh, his name is Alex Jones. Y el, the idiot from y el, nom, el nombre del señor de Infowars es Alex Jones. Okay. Mourning. Lamentando. Yeshua, what is Yeshua's ministry? ¿Cuál es el ministerio de Yeshua? Calling people to repentance. Llamando a las personas al arrepentimiento. And when you mourn the loss of God's word y, in our society. Y cuando lamentas la pérdida de la palabra de Dios en nuestra sociedad. Then the Lord is going to comfort you. Entonces el Señor te va a consolar. And then, he, then he's going to raise you up. Entonces te va a levantar. But if you're just like, you know, I like my YouTube the way it is, whatever. Y si eres una de esas personas que le gusta el YouTube como sea. You know, I, I like, you know, uh, I'm not willing to fight for our society. Eh, no estoy dispuesto a luchar por nuestra sociedad. Then you're not going to be comforted. Entonces no vas a ser consolado. But Yeshua was saying here, Yeshua está diciendo aquí. I'm calling people to repentance. Estoy llamando a las personas al arrepentimiento. If you mourn the loss of God's word, si tú lamentas la pérdida de la palabra de Dios, then he says, I'm going to comfort you. Entonces él dice que te va a consolar. Verse 5. Versículo 5. How blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Meek means that you're not using your own strength. Eh, ma ma mansedumbre significa que no está usando tu propia fuerza. Verse 6, versículo 6. How blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Bienaventurados los que tienen hambre y sed de justicia, porque ellos serán saciados. Why are they hungering and thirsting for righteousness? Porque tienen hambre y sed de justicia. Because Yeshua's whole ministry was what? Porque el ministerio entero de Yeshua fue qué? Calling people to repentance. Llamando a las personas al arrepentimiento. And when you're thirsting, like I thirst for righteousness. Y con, cu cuando tienes sed, como yo tengo sed por justicia. You know, uh, you look around in the society and you're like, unbelievable. Tú miras alrededor de ti en, la, en esta sociedad y dices, increíble. Nobody knows the truth. Nadie conoce la verdad. Nobody's willing to hunger. Nadie está dispuesto a tener hambre. Spend time in studying God's word. Pasar tiempo en estudiar la palabra de Dios. You know, I asked the children this morning. Le pregunté a los niños esta mañana. You know, what did they read ¿Qué, uh, yesterday? ¿Qué leyeron ayer? Uh, uh, <laughs> one, one, one person. Yeah, we, we read verse 21 to 31. Nosotros leímos versículos 21 al 31. That's all you did? Eso es lo único que hicieron. That's all you did? Solo eso. That's not hunger and thirst. But they'll, they'll, they'll thirst for a video game. Pero tienen sed de un juego de video. You know, they'll wait for Shabbat. Go, come on, video game back. Ellos esperan que termine el Shabbat y dicen, ¿me puede regresar mi juego de video? Yeshua is saying here. 
Y eso está diciendo aquí. If you thirst for my righteousness, I'll fill you up. Si tienes sed por mi justicia, yo te voy a saciar. Verse 7. Versículo 7. How blessed are those who show mercy, for they will be shown mercy. You got to remember that everybody's not at your same level. Tienes que acordarte que no todo el mundo está a tu, a tu mismo nivel. You know, a lot of people are coming to the congregation now. Mucha gente están llegando a la congregación ahora. A lot of different type of people. Mucha gente diferente. Not just Latins anymore. Ya no solamente latinos. Okay. Um, it's starting to become more of an, an Anglican mix in different groups. Hay, hay, un, hay un, un, una liga más. Okay. Este, But una, mez una, una mezcla más diverso. A lot of people Ahora. go. Weren't you there one time? Tú no estaba ahí una vez. Those who show mercy. Aquellos que muestran misericordia. Welcome in the new people. Bien, eh, dándole la bienvenida a la nueva our, persona. Our friend with the paces. Nuestro amigo con los paces. And a y, little uh, y la equipa. Uh, Dennis the menace hat. <laughs> Point Dexter. No, Dennis the yeah, Menace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Wilson! Oh. Come on, just brought you back 40 years. Wow, man. <laughs> Was that in Spanish too? Yes. Oh, oh, man. Yes. What did it sound like? Senor Wilson! <laughs> <laughs> Senor Wilson! <laughs> You just get you just get get right by a new one. Whoa, we're not gonna we're not gonna live this one down now. <laughs> that's that's. Robert and Veronica has been telling me all our shows were on in Ecuador in Spanish. Senor Wilson, that's that's terrible. That's just terrible. Anyway, <laughs> next slide. La próxima página. Betsy, Betsy. Matthew, Matthew 5, verse 8. Mateo, capítulo 5, versículo 8. How blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Bienaventurados los puros de corazón, porque ellos verán a Dios. You must read the, the New Testament with a Hebrews 13, 8 understanding. Tienes que leer el Nuevo Testamento con un entendimiento de Hebreos, capítulo 13, versículo 8. And Hebrews 13, 8 says what? Hebreos 13, 8 dice que? Yeshua is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeshua es el mismo ayer, hoy, para siempre. Okay, that means he's going to be a Jew until he dies. Eso significa que va a ser judío hasta que muera. And then when he rose from the grave, he was still Jewish. Y cuando él resucitó del sep de sepulcro, okay. él todavía and, era judío. And you must remember that. Y debes de acordarte de eso. Now, there are four key sections of verse 8. Hay cuatro secciones claves en el versículo 8. The first part we looked at is the word blessed. La primera parte que miramos es la palabra bendecida o bienaventurada. Then we spent, I think, three weeks on the word pure. Y después pasamos tres semanas en la palabra puro. Okay, if we get through the review tonight, we're going to be starting the word heart. Si pasamos el repaso esta noche, esta tarde, vamos a comenzar con la palabra corazón. Okay, that's the third, and then they will see God. Y el cuarto es verán a Dios. Now, if a pure heart. De puro de corazón. What is pure to God? Que es puro para Dios. What is pure to God? Que es puro para Dios. Pure is his his word. Puro es su palabra. And his word never changes. Y su palabra nunca cambia. Going on to the next slide. En la próxima página. Let's review uh, the word blessed. Go to Psalm 119. Vamos a repasar el, la palabra bienaventurado, bendecido. Vamos a Salmo 119. Psalm 119. Salmo 119. Verse 1 and 2. Versículos 1 y 2. Psalm 119. Salmo 119. Verse 1 and 2. Versículos 1 y 2. Huh? Psalm 119, verse 1 and 2 says, How happy, blessed are those whose way of life is blameless, who live by the Torah of Yehovah, How happy are those who observe his instruction, who seek him wholeheartedly. 
keys to this. Las, las claves para esto. Keys to this. It's not that hard. Las claves para esto. Okay. Um, you'll be happy va a estar, va a ser alegre if you live by the Torah. Si vives de acuerdo a Torah. Okay, so when some froofy head Christian, Gentile so cuando un cabeza de froofy cristiano okay, <laughs> says that you no longer have to live by the Torah que dice que ya no tienes que vivir de acuerdo a Torah. That means they want you to be sad. Eso, quieres, eso significa que quieres que sean since God doesn't change Como Dios no cambia, then if you live by Torah he said you're going to be happy Entonces, si vives de acuerdo a Torah, vas a estar, vas a estar alegre. and live by, the, live by the Torah of Jehovah, si vives de acuerdo a la Torah de Jehovah. not of the rabbis no de los rabinos. okay just because Beth Goim teaches the Torah. Porque Beth Goim enseña Torah we do not teach the Talmud no enseñamos Talmud. We were accused of that last night and we're going to have to slam dance somebody. Nos acusaron de eso anoche y vamos a tener que... When you get my... Cachetearlos. I'm going to crush you. Some goy telling me I'm doing Talmud. I'm going to get you. Okay. So my, my God says, live by the Torah and be happy. Mi Dios dice, vive de acuerdo a Torah y Everybody, sea alegre. Alta gracia! Hi, Grace. Hi, Grace. Hi, Grace. Alta gracia. Uh-huh. <laughs> and when you seek him wholeheartedly, y cuando lo buscas de todo corazón, then you're going to be happy. Vas a, vas a estar alegre. Because you're going to be the head and not the tail. Porque, porque va a ser... La cabeza y no la cola. That's what most people do not realize. Eso es lo que la mayoría de personas no, no entienden. Okay. I'm sorry, I was laughing because last time I said la cabeza y no el rabo. Oh, you had it backwards? No, I, it's another word for cola, but I, Isabel wasn't expecting and she cracked up at home. Okay. So the word wholeheartedly la palabra de todo corazón means with all your heart, mind, Soul and strength. Significa con todo tu corazón, mente, alma y fuerza. Not just sort of your heart. No, este como de poco corazón. When you die, you know, I, I'm the type of person. Yo soy la, eh, la clase de persona. You know, like, I used to love to go swimming. Me, me encantaba a nadar. It's hard now as a follower of Yeshua. Es difícil ahora como seguidor de Yeshua. Because there's bathing suits Porque that women hay, are wearing. Hay trajes de baño que las mujeres están usando. But um, you know, I would when I was a kid, cuando, cuando era cuando, cuando era niño, uh, I used to love to swim in the ocean, in a pool, any body of water. En cualquier cuerpo de agua. You could go to the pool early in the morning with the seniors. Okay, well. <laughs> um, but um, there's not so, much to look at there. But there are people that like to walk into the water. Hay personas que le gustan caminar en el agua. It could be 900 degrees outside. Puede estar, este, puede estar este, 900 grados afuera. And there are people at the shallow end. Y hay personas en la parte bajita en la parte bajita de, 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 del agua that um, would go one step at a time que entran un pasito a la vez uh, that was my mother and my sisters esa era mi mamá y mis hermanas but me pero yo I would go to the deep end iba a la parte profunda go up the high ladder me subía la escalera look over miraba and go ah and jump right in y me tiraba and that's the way I am with God's word. Y así soy con la palabra de Dios. It's either all or nothing. Para mí es todo o nada. That's why I get very angry when people take away from my father's word. Por eso que yo me enojo cuando las personas tratan de, de quitar de, mi, de la palabra de mi padre. And I really hate when people use the title Christian and are not. Y odio cuando las personas usan el título de cristiano y no lo son. 
Christian means you're supposed to be Christ-like, Messiah-like. Cristiano significa que tienes que ser como Cristo, como el Mesías. And, and when you take away from my King's glory, it angers me. Y cuando tratas de quitarle la gloria de mi de mi rey, me enoja. So the Lord said here in Psalm 119, verse 1 and 2. So el Señor dijo aquí en Salmo 119, versículos 1 y 2. When you live by Torah, cuando vives de acuerdo a Torah, and you seek Him wholeheartedly, y lo buscas de todo corazón, then you're going to be happy. Entonces vas vas a estar alegre. Okay, it might be a little bit of work. Tal vez va a ser un poco trabajo. But the ultimate happiness, pero la alegría máxima, is when you reach the pearly gates. Es cuando llega a las a las a los portones de perla. And Yeshua says, y Yeshua dice, well done, bien bien hecho, my good and faithful servant, mi buen y fiel siervo. And when he says that, y cuando él dice eso, then you know you're going to have a good eternity. Entonces vas Vas a saber que vas a tener una buena eternidad. Faithfulness means fidelidad significa seeking the Lord wholeheartedly, buscando del Señor de todo corazón. But when you don't seek Him wholeheartedly, pero cuando no lo buscas de todo corazón, then you get tossed around. Entonces eres este tirado like a storm, como una tormenta. Going on to the next slide. En la próxima página. Matthew 5 verse 8 definitions. Mateo capítulo 5 versículo 8 significados. One of the things I've realized in doing this for a very long time. Una de las cosas que he realizado haciendo esto por mucho tiempo. And we had this situation here what was it two weeks ago. Y tuvimos esta situación aquí hace dos semanas. We were looking for a Spanish word. Estábamos buscando una palabra en español. And the Puerto Rican said it one way. Y el puertorriqueño lo dijo de una manera. The Colombian said it another way. La, eh, los colombianos lo dijeron de otra manera. The uh, the the alarm is on. Yeah, Rabbi. Um, Jose just he did something and. Oh. Chalo. We turned off the alarm already. Go take one take. second. Yep. Un momentito. Wow. Oh, qué rico. Ah, wow. Qué lindo. Suave. Would the cops bring you? <laughs> rico suave. Rico suave. Gerardo, you know, the Ecuadorian rapper. All right. <laughs> so we were looking at definitions. Estamos mirando el significado. And we discovered y descubrimos that one word que una palabra in Spanish is en, said many different ways in different countries. En español es, es este usado en muchas diferentes maneras en diferentes países. Because each has its own culture. Porque cada uno tiene su dialecto. Okay. Um, yeah. So when studying the word of God. Cuando está estudiando la palabra de Dios. When reading the Brit Hadashah, the New Testament, pues leyendo el Nuevo Testamento, el Brit Hadashah, you have to go to the second best language. Tienes que ir a la, a, 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 la, a la segunda lengua mejor. The second best language, que es griego. In that Greek stuff. Es, esa cosa griega. But the perfect language, pero... La lengua perfecta. The perfect language. La lengua perfecta. The perfect language. La lengua perfecta. Is Hebrew. Es el hebreo. Is Puerto Rican Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> right, is Hebrew. Es, es el hebreo. What I discovered in teaching the youth. Lo que he descubierto en enseñarle a la juventud. You think they know a word. Tú piensan que ellos conocen una palabra. And actually even... In our study of hell during Shabbat, y actualmente en nuestro estudio sobre el infierno en Shabbat, I asked people what the word agony meant. Le pregunté a las personas qué significa la palabra agonía. You should have heard some of the definitions. Tenía que escuchar algunos de los significados. Okay, so when studying the Bible, so cuando estudiando la Biblia, we need to go back in the Brit Hadashah right now to the Greek, Necesit that's imperfect language. Necesitamos regresar a la lengua imperfecta de griego. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. 
¡Qué rico! From heaven. It's a white pie. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that over here for one second. All right. All right. So definitions going on to the next slide. Significados. Vamos a la próxima página. We need to look at the, the definition in a review for the word pure. Necesitamos mirar el significado eh, para la palabra puro. Este, yeah. Before understanding heart, antes de entender el corazón, we need to review what the Greek word that we have in the New Testament is, the Brithadasha. Necesitamos entender la palabra griega que tenemos en el Nuevo Testamento. Okay, the Greek word is G2513. La palabra griega es el G2513. Okay, and it's katharos. Es katharos. It means number three is purified by fire. El, el significado número tres es purificado por fuego. Clean, uh, cleansed by pruning. Number four. Li, este, limpia, lim, lim, limpiado por podar. Number five. Número in a Levitical cinco. sense. En un sentido levítico. So clean, pure means levitically. Eh, puro significa levíticamente. So when Yeshua used this word pure. So cuando Yeshua usó esta palabra puro. He was using a word that would be understood by the Torah. El Iba a usar una palabra que se, será entendido por Torah. Number seven, número, ethically. Número siete, éticamente. Okay, ethically. Now, if you do not have God's law. Si tú no tienes las leyes de Dios. Everybody ethics, everybody's ethics are going to be different. Todas las éticas de las personas va a ser diferente. That's why the 1500 different denominations of Christianity are all wrong. Por eso que los 1500 denominaciones de cristianismo están todo equivocado. And the reason they're wrong y la razón porque están is equivocados because their ethics are wrong. Es porque sus éticas están mal. Because God does malo. not change. Porque Dios no cambia. Okay? And when you fear God, y cuando temes a Dios, and you know that when you do something wrong, God is going to chastise. Y sabes que cuando haces las cosas malas, Dios va a castigar. Then you understand what a pure heart is. Entonces entiendes lo que es un corazón puro. Number eight. Número ocho. Uh, for the word pure is corrupt desire. Eh, free from a corrupt desire. El significado número ocho es libre de un deseo corrupto. So you got to understand what would corrupt your heart. Tú tienes que entender qué va a corrompir tu corazón. You're going to be blessed if you follow Torah pure, follow Torah wholeheartedly va a ser bendecido si sigues a, a la Torah de todo corazón if you've been pured uh, by the Lord pruning you si has sido purificado por el Señor podar because, podándote because huh? yes ok so the more you study God's word entre más estudia la palabra de Dios then the more you're going to understand what needs to be pruned off. Entre, entonces vas a entender más que se necesita podar. It, it is better for you to prune yourself than God to prune you. Es mejor por podarte a ti mismo que, que Dios te, te pode. Okay. Bless <laughs> oh, yeah. are the pure in heart in a Levitical sense. Bienaventurados los puros de corazón en un sentido levítico. Okay. So if you say we don't need the law, then you're not pure in heart. So si, si dices que no necesitamos la ley, entonces no eres puro de corazón. You can always sit over there. Hmm? You can always sit on that side. What? I'm not going to play. I'm sitting next to my dad. Okay. Ooh. Next slide. Ooh. Heart. Próxima página. Corazón. Okay. That is G2588. Es el G2588. It is the Greek word cardia. Es la palabra griega, cardia. Okay. Number two. Número dos. Means the center of your physical and spiritual life. Es el, el centro de tu vida física y espiritual. Center of your spiritual life. Es el centro de tu vida espiritual. Fountains of thoughts. Eh, fuentes 
de pensamientos, desires, deseos, appetites, apetitos y pizzas. Mmm. Uh, ah, qué rico. <laughs> yes. Next to godliness is pizza. <laughs> Next to godliness is pizza. No. Not cleanliness. Okay. Pizza. Passions. Pasiones. For a good piece of pie. Para un, una pizza bien rica. Okay. Your car cardia. Is about your passion. Tu cardia se trata de tus pasiones. Do you have passion for God's work? Tienes pasión por la palabra de Dios. Or do you have passions for pocketbooks? O tienes pasiones para carteras. Or passion for shoes. O pasión para zapatos. Zapatos. Okay. Passion for blouses. Eh, pasión para blusas. Blusas. Passion for head coverings. Pasiones por cobertura de cabeza. Oh, I need that color, Oscar. Passion. How about passion for pizza? I love passion for pizza. <laughs> It's my passion play. The real passion play is the passion for pizza. <laughs> la verdadera obra de pasión es la, la pasión de pizza. Now, number five. Ahora, número cinco. Um, cardia is the seat of intelligence. Eh. Cardia es el asentamiento de inteligencia. So blessed are the pure in heart. Es bienaventurado los puros de corazón. Okay, intelligent. Inteligencia. Okay, going on to the next definition. Vamos a la próxima, al próximo significado. Okay, we'll see God. Verán a Dios. That is the, the uh, Greek uh, word G3708. Es la palabra griega G3708. Uh, What do we say this one was? Horao? Horao. Horao? Horao. Okay. We'll see with their eyes. Verán con sus ojos. With their mind. Con sus mentes. Acquainted with by experience. Eh, conocido uh, por, su por su experiencia. Going on to the next slide. La próxima página. Now we're going to review the word pure. Ahora vamos a repasar la palabra puro. And like I said, if you missed any of this, there are 28 other parts on the y, website. Y, y si perdiste algún estudio, hay 28 partes más a este estudio. We're going to review the word pure. Vamos a repasar la palabra puro. Going on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Uh, turn, to Levitic, uh, turn to Exodus 25, Va verse 11. Vamos a Exodus capítulo 25, versículo 11. Uh, let's go to the, the loafer for pure. The loafer or the, the slice? Uh, yes. <laughs> mm. Vamos a Lopre. Lofer en español, en inglés, Lopre en español. Exodus 25, Shemot 25. Exodus capítulo 25, versículo 11. Ley de primera referencia. Le de pre. I'm going to miss pizza when the tribulation starts. <laughs> we'll have matzah. You make matzah pizza. Where are you going to get the cheese? Huh? Where are you going to get the cheese? Hey. I've had a goat cheese pizza in India. Ooh. Delicious, right? I ate it, but it was bad. <laughs> goat cheese is delicious. Oh, no. Oh, I love it. No. Right, Exodus 25, verse 11. We're looking at the first word for pure. Estamos mirando la primera palabra para puro. You had to overlay it with pure gold, overlay it both inside and out, and put a molding of pure gold around the top. Okay, the word for pure in the Hebrew is the, the word tahor. La palabra puro en el hebreo es la palabra tahor. Uh, you uh, created me a left tahor. Crea a me clean un left heart. tahor, un corazón limpio. A pure heart. Un corazón puro. In this... Uh, Reference our first reference here. En nuestra primera referencia aquí. Um, pure gold was put on the ark of the covenant. El oro puro fue puesto sobre el arca del pacto. What's in the ark of the covenant? Que está adentro del arca del pacto. The word of God. La palabra de Dios. So here, if you understand pureness, so aquí si entiendes pureza, 
If you seek God wholeheartedly, you're si, blessed. Si, sigue, si buscas a Dios de todo corazón, eres bendecido. You must seek God in a Levitical sense. Debes de buscar de Dios en un sentido levítico. Free from corrupt desire. Libres de deseo corrupto. How do I know what a corrupt desire would be? ¿Cómo es que voy a saber lo que es un deseo corrupto? The only way I'm going to know that is if I study the Torah. De única manera que voy a saber es si estudio Torah. Because our mind is deceptive. Porque nuestra mente es engañosa. Our hearts are deceptive. Nuestros corazones son engañosos. Because why are our hearts deceptive? ¿Por qué nuestros corazones son engañosos? Because in our heart is all good and all evil. Porque nuestros corazones existe todo el bien y todo el mal. So you have to train your brain. So tienes que entrenar tu mente. And if you don't desire knowledge, y si no deseas sabiduría, if you don't desire reading God's word, si no deseas leer la palabra de Dios, you know that's how, you know, like we got this week's message. Así fue que recibimos el mensaje de este sema, de esta I can't semana. tell you how many times I've read the Gospel of Matthew. No te puedo contar cuántas veces leí el Evangelio de Mateo. But when the Lord spoke to me about Yeshua's ministry. Pero cuando el Señor me habló sobre el ministerio de Yeshua. Sometimes you say, Is, was that there all the time? A, a veces tú dices, ¿estaba eso ahí todo este tiempo? But you're at a different stage in life where certain things are going on. Estás en otra etapa de tu vida donde otras cosas están sucediendo. But the only way you're going to be free from corrupt desire. Pero de la única manera que vas a ser libre del deseo corrupto. Is by letting the Lord burn off. The things that don't belong there. Es permitiendo que el Señor queme o quite las cosas que no pertenecen a Do you just pull pure gold out of the ground? ¿Tú sacas oro puro de, de la tierra? No, you don't. No. You have to melt it down. Tienes que derretirlo. You got to get out all the other impurities, all the other minerals. Tienes que sacarle todos los otros minerales, todas las impurezas. And then you get the pure gold that went on the ark. Y entonces este, recibes el oro puro que fue puesto en, la, en, en el arca. Okay. Tahor means uh, clean ceremoniously. Tahor significa limpio ceremonialmente. Going on to the next slide. En la próxima página. Turn to uh, Shemot, Exodus 25, verse 31. Vamos a Éxodos capítulo 25, versículo 31. You are to make a menorah of pure gold. It is to be made of hammered work. Its base, shaft, cups, rings, and outer leaves and petals are to be of one piece with it. Excuse me. Okay. The menorah. La menorah. Was also también, of pure gold. También fue hecha de oro puro. Which is really very interesting. Que es bien interesante. When you, you look at the, the design of the menorah. Cuando miras el diseño de la menorah. That the arms, the branches stayed up. Que gold is soft. Que las ramas se... se se este, quedaron paradas. Okay. So the menorah, the light that led you to the most holy place. So la menorah, la luz que te, que te guiaba al lugar santísimo. Was pure light. Era luz pura. Okay. The oil that was in there. El aceite que estaba ahí. Was also pure. También era puro. Pure virgin olive oil. Eh, puro aceite de oliva virgen which tastes very good que sabe bien rico when you mix it with vinegar on a salad cuando lo ligas con vinagre en with some oregano y orégano and with a side of pizza y con una pizza <laughs> al lado <laughs> everything's got to come back to pizza okay so pure gold so you want a pure heart so pu oro puro so quieres un corazón puro You're going to be blessed. Va a ser bendecido. And you're going to see God. Y vas a ver a Dios. If you put the work in. Si pones de tu parte. To clean your own heart out. Para limpiar tu propio corazón. Because Proverbs 16 verse 1 says what? Porque Proverbios 16 1 dice que. You're in charge of your heart. Tú estás a cargo de tu corazón. And when you need help. God will help if you call him. So cuando necesitas ayuda, Dios te ayudará si lo llamas. Like I was very blessed this past week. So yo fui bien bendecido esta última semana. The new lady. La nueva señora. You know, she came in, pretty secular woman. Ella entró, una mujer bastante secular. Very beautiful young lady. Muy, muy linda, 
But within sign of two weeks, she was covering her hair. Pero en, At least here. En dos semanas, ella se estaba cubriendo la cabeza. I was like, that, that was beautiful. Yo dije, eso era bello. You know, so I was like, I was like, Lord bless her. Yo, yo, yo decía, Señor, bendícela. Give her a good first fruit. Dale un buen primer fruto. Yeah, you know, uh, they're a very, a very nice couple. Un, 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 the new una linda pareja. Nice couple. It's like, una linda pareja. Their, kid, their kids are like, um, we got a really good report about their kids. Nosotros recibimos un buen reporte de sus hijos. But when you seek God, Pero cuando buscas a Dios, when you're willing to change, cuando estás dispuesto, dispuesto a cambiar, when, you, when you're seeking truth, cuando está buscando la verdad, conversely, remember that guy Gary that was here. ¿Te acuerdas de la persona esa Gary que estaba aquí? What a dork. <laughs> Qué idiota. You know, he thought he knew everything. It's like, well, then start your own congregation. Él, él pensaba que, que, que sabía tanto. Y And yo see le dije, if God pues, blesses it. Tu propio tu propia congregación. You know, a gentile that's trying to tell a Jew un gentil que está tratando de decir a, a un judío que es salvo. Who's proclaiming Torah what to do. Que está proclamando Torah qué hacer. But you see disaster in his life. Pero ves el desastre en su vida. And you see blessings in another. Y tú ves bendiciones en otra. And what I see through all the years of doing ministry. Y lo que yo he visto en todos los años de, hacer, de bregar en el ministerio. Those that seek Aquellos, pure que, heart. aquellos que buscan de corazón puro, de todo corazón. Like I just want the truth. Como yo solo quiero la verdad. And explain to me the truth. Y que me explique la verdad. Uh, Tristan, they're asking if you could turn the volume up on Webex. Okay. So going on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Shemot, Exodus 30, verse 34. Éxodo. 30, 34. Exodus 30, Exodo, verse... Éxodo, capítulo 30. Take a bite. You can't hide it, Rav. Mm -hmm. the, beard, the beard gives it away. It's one of the things I got to get to the... When I die, I got to ask the question about that, Lord. <laughs> 30-34. Jehovah said to Moshe, take aromatic plant substances, balsam, resin, sweet onkia, root, and bitter galbum gum. These spices along with pure frankincense, all in equal quantities. If we go to the next slide. Si vamos a la próxima página. You, is your mic on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. Um, there's a little bit, and our uh, this is from our study of the oils. Esto es de nuestro estudio sobre los aceites, which went over 15,000 views recently. Que se 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 ha visto más de 1,500 veces. We get a call about the oils at least once or twice a day. Nos llaman sobre los aceites por lo menos una a dos veces al día. Okay, the frankincense, el incenso, when it kills bacteria, mata bacteria. Disinfects, desinfecta, renews cells, y renueva células. So you might want to put that on your wound. Yeah, well, I, we need some. Okay. Um, heals wounds, <laughs> sana heridas. One of the things I like, it kills insects. Una de las cosas que me gusta es que mata oh. insectos. Especially the ones in the summer that really bug you. Especialmente Bzzz. aquellos en el verano que le gusta chupar. Now if we go back one slide. Si Oops. regresamos, yeah. si regresamos una página. In verse 34. En el versículo 34. They, um, when you dig deep into the Hebrew, it's pure frankincense. Cuando te profundizas en el hebreo, es incenso puro. Which you cannot put on your skin. Que no puedes poner en tu piel. All the essential oils must be packed in olive oil. Todos los aceites esenciales deben de ser cortados. Con aceite de oliva. You will burn your skin if you put these when you, they're, they're in their pure form. Si, it'll hurt. Si, lo, si, te lo, si te lo untas en su este, forma pura, te puede lastimar. You'll forget about that insect because you're going to be in so much pain. Te vas a olvidar de ese insecto porque vas a estar en tanto dolor. Okay. So they put the pure frankincense on the, uh, in, the in this verse. Eh, usaron el puro Incenso en este versículo. So we go past the frankincense slide. So vamos a 
a la página después del de incenso. Once again, this is just review. Nuevamente, esto es solo un repaso. Turn to Proverbs 16, Michelle 16. Vamos a Proverbios capítulo 16. Verse 1, 2, 3. Versículos 1, 2, 2 y 3. It's not Shabbat, so you can keep your phone on. But you should answer it. Mm. Proverbs 16. Proverbios capítulo 16. Verse 1, 2, 3. Versículos 1, 2 y 3. See, you guys should come to Bible study and you can share in our pizza and stuff. Debes de venir al estudio bíblico para compartir de la pizza. In the house. En la casa. A person is responsible to prepare his heart. But how the tongue speaks is from Jehovah. All a man's ways are pure in his own view. But Jehovah weighs the spirit. If you entrust all you do to Jehovah, your plans will achieve success. Okay? So here we see that you're in charge of your own heart. So aquí vemos que estás uh, a cargo de tu propio corazón. God is not in charge of your heart. You are. Dios no está a cargo de tu corazón. Tú but, estás. But it, here we're talking about heart. Aquí estamos hablando sobre el corazón. And pureness. Y pureza. In verse 2. En versículo 2. All the man's ways are pure in his own view, but Jehovah weighs the spirit. Amen. So how do you... How do you get God's view? ¿Cómo es que recibe el punto de vista de Dios? That goes back to the word blessed. Es, eso regresa a la palabra bienaventurado. Psalm 119, decir? verse 1 and 2 said what? Salmo 119, versículos 1 y 2 de, decía que. You're going to be blessed if you follow God wholeheartedly. Va a ser bendecido si sigues a Dios de todo corazón. Why? ¿Por qué? Because you got to change your view Por, in your heart. Porque tienes que cambiar tu punto de vista en tu corazón to the view of God al, al, al punto de vista de Dios and God never changes y Dios nunca cambia Yeshua never changes Yeshua nunca cambia he's going to always be a Jew él siempre va a ser judío he's always going to say his brothers and sisters are those who do what his father wants él siempre va a decir que sus hermanos y hermanas son lo que hacen lo que su padre quiere so when you you seek God with a pure heart so cuando tú buscas a Dios de un corazón puro a Levitically pure heart. Un corazón este, puro levíticamente. Then what does verse 3 say? ¿Qué dice el versículo 3? If you entrust all you do to Jehovah, your plans will achieve success. Amen. But not if you're not doing the work. Pero no si no estás haciendo el trabajo. And it's not enough just to read. Y no es suficiente leer. Or listen to the word like I do. O escuchar la palabra como yo lo hago. You must apply it to your lives. Tienes que aplicarlo a tu vida. Now what did we learn in the message? ¿Y qué, fue, ¿y qué fue lo que aprendimos en el mensaje este último Shabbat? We're looking at the Lord's Prayer. Estábamos mirando la oración del, del Padre Nuestro. And you know, people pray that prayer. Y las personas oran, es, hacen esa oración. And you know, for, forgive me Lord, you know, my trespasses. Perdóname Dios mis, este, mis faltas. But I'm going to be Latin and not forgive anybody else. Pero yo voy a ser latino y no perdonar a los demás. Okay. If you, if you don't forgive. Si no perdonas. Then how can God forgive you? Entonces, ¿cómo Dios puede perdonarte a ti? If you entrust. So here it's learning what is important to God. Aquí es aprendiendo lo que es importante para Dios. Now, the, 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 the definition for pure, ahora el significado para puro, what's being cleansed by fire, es ser este, eh, limpio, este, sí, limpio por, por fuego, pruning, podar, Levitical sense, sentido levítico, corrupt desire, deseo corrupto. Okay? So here, aquí, excuse me. Um, if you prepare your heart, si preparas tu corazón, if you want a pure heart, si tú quieres un corazón puro, then you will see God. Entonces tú verás a Dios. But you'll see him in a good way. Pero lo vas a ver en una manera buena. Not in a bad way. No en una manera mala. Everybody's going to see God. Todos van a ver a Dios. But it all depends how your meeting's going to go. Y depende cómo va, vaya tu reunión. And like some of our children. 
muchos de nuestros hijos. I asked them this morning, what did you read in your own devotional? Que le pregunté esta mañana, ¿qué leíste en tu devocional? Uh, 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 oh, so you didn't read. Well, we read together. Le leímos juntos. How much time were you on YouTube? ¿Cuánto tiempo estaba en YouTube? Well, you, uh, uh, we didn't do that today. No hicimos eso hoy. See, this is where parenting is very much needed. Aquí es a donde ser padre es necesitado. You must train a child up in the way that they should go. Debes de criar a un niño en el camino en que tiene que ir. Train them what a pure heart means. Criarlo con con el, con con un corazón puro. Make them desire the word of God. Hagan que ellos deseen la palabra de Dios. You'll make it part of their lives. Haga, haga que sea parte de su vida. Going on to the next slide. En la próxima página. Second Timothy chapter 2. Segunda de Timoteo capítulo 2. Second Timothy 2. This is just review. Segunda de Timoteo capítulo 2. Esto es solamente un repaso. Second Timothy 2 verse 21 and 22. Segunda de Timoteo, capítulo 2, versículos 21 y 22. I think we should have that for every Shabbat. Pizza? Or this one trying to sing down. Cold, cold pizza is what I lived in on college. <laughs> cold pizza and cold Chinese food, right? Cold pizza. <laughs> Second Timothy 2, verse 21 and 22. Segunda Timoteo, capítulo 2, versículos 21 y 22. If a person keeps himself free of defilement by the latter, he will be a, a, a vessel set aside for honorable use by the master of the house and ready for every kind of good work. So flee the passions of youth, and along with those who call on the Lord with a pure heart, from a pure heart, pursue righteousness, faithfulness, love, and peace. What would be righteousness, Paul? ¿Qué sería justicia, Pablo? What would be faithfulness, Paul? ¿Qué sería fidelidad, Pablo? What would be free from defilement? Que sería libre de, de impureza. Okay, well that would be a pure heart. Eso ser, sería un corazón puro. So this is a very good slide. So esta es una buena, present, una buena página, uh, una buena uh, presentación. A good two verses. Una, una, unos buenos versículos. For most of the Christian world that says we don't have to follow the law. Para la mayoría del mundo cristiano que dice que no necesitamos seguir la ley. Because we're supposed to pursue righteousness. Porque debemos de eh, buscar la justicia. Well, what is righteousness? Pero Where que, would I find the definition? ¿Qué es justicia? ¿Qué, ¿A dónde voy a conseguir el significado? Because remember, porque acuérdate. You know what we went through two weeks ago here in one of the translations. Eh, lo que pasamos eh, hace dos semanas atrás en una de las traducciones. Everybody had their own opinion about a word. Toditos tenían su propia opinión sobre una palabra. The Guatemalans had a position. The Mexicans had a different one. Cada uno tuvieron su opinión dif diferente. When you're, when you're reading God's word. Cuando está leyendo la palabra de Dios. You have to go back to the Old Testament. Tienes que regresar al Viejo Testamento. When you're reading the New Testament. Cuando está leyendo el Nuevo Testamento. Because once God establishes that word. Porque ya cuando Dios establece esa palabra. It does not change. No cambia. Okay, so if God said don't eat the pig. So si Dios dice no comas el cerdo. Don't touch the pig. No, co no toques el, el don't, cerdo. Don't eat these certain foods. No comas estas ciertas comidas. You know, you don't. God doesn't change. Dios no cambia. And if he does, I don't want to be a person that follows him. Y si él cambia, entonces yo no quiero ser la persona que le sigue. Okay? So a pure heart. So un corazón puro. Pursues righteousness. Busca la justicia. Faithfulness. Fidelidad. What is love? ¿Qué es amor? What is love? ¿Qué es amor? Yeshua said, if you love me, you'll bring pizza. Yeshua dijo que si me amas, 
trae, traerá pizza. Okay. If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Si me amas, guardas, guardarás mis mandamientos. Okay, love in the Levitical sense is 613. El amor en el sentido levítico son los 613. Going on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. We're going to go on for a little bit more for pure review. Vamos a repasar un poquito más para puro. Next slide. Próxima página. Okay, we looked at uh, um, uh, Matthew 5, verse 8, verse 2 through 5. Eh, eh, nosotros miramos a... Mateo capítulo 5, versículo 8.2 al 5. Ok. Um, we, we looked at some synonyms of the word pure. Miramos sinónimos de la palabra puro. Going on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Ok. The, the one synonym is the word tamim. El, el, un, uno de los sinónimos es la palabra tamim. It means complete. Significa completo. Entire. Entero. Innocent. Inocente. Integrity. Integridad. In accordance with truth. De acuerdo con la verdad. Well, what would truth be? ¿Qué será la verdad? 613. 613. 613. 613. Integrity. Integridad. Would be the laws of God. Serían las leyes de Dios. And once you remove one law. Y cuando tú remueves una ley. You ever pull, start pulling on a string on a sweater? Le has, le has este, jalado un hilo en, en una oh. en una suela or a, a string on a shirt o un, un hilo en una camisa you know you're like looking oh man I the string and, whip, and then the whole shirt starts coming apart <laughs> right? Sí. Uh -huh. ok so tamim means integrity so tamim significa integridad going on to the next slide en la próxima página Je turn to Genesis 6, verse 9. Vamos a Genesis 6, versículo 9. Genesis 6, verse 9. Genesis 6, versículo 9. Anybody getting anything out of the review? Están este, aprendiendo algo del repaso? We're almost done with the review. Ya casi terminamos con el repaso. You got to review each time. Tienes que repasar cada vez. Because <laughs> if you don't, you're like, you forget pieces. You forget pizza? I'll never forget pizza. <laughs> and you know they're going to be serving it in heaven. Pizza. Pizza and coffee. Not together though. Genesis 6 verse 9. Genesis 6 versículo 9. Here's the history of Noah in his generation. Noah was a man righteous and wholehearted. Noah walked with God. Okay, Noah had integrity. Noé tuvo integridad. He was wholehearted. Él fue de todo corazón. Okay. Um, he was innocent. Él fue inocente. Because if, if it says righteous, that means he's innocent. Porque dice justo, él significa que él era inocente. He had integrity. Tuvo integridad. Okay. And he walked with who? Y caminó con quién? He walked with Elohim here. Él caminó con Elohim aquí. Okay, going on to the next slide. En la próxima página. Deuteronomy 18. Deuteronomio capítulo 18. Deuteronomio 18, verse 12 through 14. Deuteronomio capítulo 18, versículos 12 al 14. Deuteronomio 18, verse 12 through 14. Deuteronomio capítulo 18, versículos 12 al 14. Deuteronomio 18. Deuteronomio 18. Verse 11 through 14. Versículos 11 al 14. A spellcaster, a consulter of ghosts or spirits, or a necromancer. Whoever does these things is detestable to Jehovah. And because of these abominations, Jehovah Elohim is driving them out ahead of you. You must be wholehearted, blameless with your Elohim. Jehovah Elohim, the nations which you are about to dispossess. Listen to soothsayers and diviniers. But you, Jehovah Your Elohim, does not allow you to do this. Amen. We talked this, about this in the road to Emmaus this ha, week. Hablamos sobre esto en el camino a Emmaus esta semana. Okay, uh, where uh, the one guy consults dead. A donde el, 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 the king, el rey, consultó lo, al muerto. How did that turn out? ¿Cómo fue que eso terminó? Did that turn out good or bad? Eso terminó bien, bien bueno o malo. But see here, he consulted ghosts. Pero dice aquí que él consultó con fantasma. Yeah, he did. Um, sí. And it didn't turn out too well. Y no terminó bien. Okay, so 
We are not to do this. Nosotros no, no podemos hacer the esto. pagan Goim do this. Los Goim paganos hacen esto. And the Lord says, I'm driving out these nations that do that ahead of you. Y el Señor dice que estoy echando fuera estas naciones delante de ti que hacen esto. But you must be wholehearted with your God. Pero tú debes de ser de todo corazón con tu Dios. Okay, because God does not want us delving into these awful things. Porque Dios no quiere que este hagamos estas cosas horribles. Are there demons? Yes. Hay, hay demonios. Yeah, but I don't care about the demons. Pero a mí no me importa de los, este, serve, los demonios. I serve God. Yo sirvo a Dios. And my God can crush a demon with just a look from his eyes. Y mi Dios puede aplastar un demonio con la mirada. Oh, mirar now you're going to turn your camera on. Okay, go ahead. Um, astrology falls under that, correct? Yes, you're not to read your horoscope in the newspaper. La astrología, este... Cae debajo de esto. I'm an Aquarius. You're an Aquarium? I'm an, I'm an Aquarium. No, an Aquarius. Oh, you got, you got fish floating inside of you. Yeah, I got... Yes, you're not to uh, consult astrology. The no? only reason I ask is because I don't follow and I've never really believed the whole astrology thing. But what I have noticed um, is that people born in the same... in the same so-called sign um, have a lot of characteristics and, and that are alike and I find that like so um, interesting maybe it just I, I I guess I that's the word I can I can think because like I said I don't follow astrology I don't believe in it but I've come to see that there's certain characteristics within people that are born around the same time um, in the month. Mm -hmm. Like like my mom and my sister-in-law um, and I, a, another friend that I had, all were born in March. Um, and they all like the same type of perfumes and they like the same type of um, uh, like clothes. And I, you know, it was like, it was like something really weird where I was like, wow. That's kind of creepy. But still, I don't believe in astrology. But I just noticed that. That's why I asked about it. That's why I asked. Well, God says here that we're to not consult in any of that stuff. Dios dice aquí que no debemos de consultar con, con nada de eso. An elephant and a tiger are pretty much the same. Un elefante y un tigre son casi iguales. They both walk on four feet. Los dos caminan en cuatro patas. Right? Yes. Okay. They both have two eyes. Los, do, los dos tienen dos ojos. Uh, they both poop. Los, los dos defecan. Okay. Um, it, is, it is interesting, but God wants us focusing on Him. Es bien interesante, pero Dios quiere que nos enfoquemos en Él. And if you have a pure heart, y si tienes un corazón puro, and, and you live in integrity, y vives en, en integridad, with Him, then you're going to see Him. Con Él, entonces lo, lo verás. In a good way. En una manera buena. Not in a bad way. No en una manera mala. You understand that I'm saying that I'm not following astrology. But you are. And that I don't believe in astrology. But you do. Yes, you're just looking at some interesting... Nuances. Yeah, it's just something that I, I noticed. So, but yes, I do know about astrology, and I and I don't follow astrology. I don't believe in it. All right. Yeah, like you know, both my wife and myself are both Aquarians. Mi esposa y yo somos Aquarios. And she's loud and obnoxious, and I'm very shy. <laughs> sure. Oh, that, uh, strike that. Reverse it. Yeah. Willy Wonka time. <laughs> okay. All right. Going on to the next slide. La próxima página. Psalm 18, verse 30. We're looking at uh, synonyms of the word pure. Salmo 18, versículo 30. Estamos mirando sinónimos para la palabra puro. Because we're getting closer to looking at the word heart tonight. Porque estamos acercándonos más para mirar la palabra corazón. Psalm 18, noche. verse 30. Salmo 18, versículo 30. Has everybody been enjoying this study? ¿Han estado estudiando, eh, disfrutando de este estudio? Yes, no. Sí, no. A lo mejor. Sí, no, a lo mejor. 
Psalm 18, verse 30. Salmo 18, versículo 30. As for Elohim, his way is perfect, blameless. The word of Jehovah has been tested by fire. He shields all who take refuge in him. Okay, this is the word tamim. Esta es la palabra tamim. His word, it has integrity. Eh, su palabra tiene integridad. His word is complete. Su palabra es completo. His word is entirely the truth. Su palabra es totalmente la verdad. Then why would the church want to get rid of this? Entonces, ¿por qué la iglesia quiere deshacerse de esto? I don't understand. No lo entiendo. Okay, why would a lot of the messianic congregations want to get rid of this? ¿Por qué muchas de las congregaciones mesiánicas quieren deshacerse de okay. esto? Okay, going on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Second Peter. Segunda de Pedro. Verse, uh, chapter 3, verse 14. Capítulo 3, versículo 14. Second Peter, ver, chapter 3, verse 14. Segunda de Pedro, capítulo 3, versículo 14. Second Peter 3, verse 14. Segunda de Pedro, capítulo 3, versículo 14. Uh, some hard questions are coming your way. Therefore, dear friends, As you look for these things, do everything you can to be found by him without spot or defect, blameless and at peace. Amen? All right, so you want to do everything you can. So quieres hacer todo lo que pueda. There are certain things that we can't do. Hay ciertas cosas que no podemos hacer. Because there's no temple. Porque no hay templo. And you might not have the money to do seven lambs. Y tal vez no tenga el dinero para sacrificar siete ovejas. So seven lambs uh, would be uh, like $3,500 or more. Siete ovejas serán como $3,500 dólares o más. You might not have that kind of funding. Tal vez no tiene ese, ese dinero. Los fondos. Okay. But, um, Brocation. But if you can cover your head. <laughs> Puedes tapar tu cabeza. Like you're a married woman. Eres una mujer casada. But you got, you know, the bangs sticking out. You have half your head sticking out. Why cover it at all? Pero tiene la mitad de tu, tu cabello por fuera. ¿Por qué taparlo? Or you might wear um, a really uh, low-cut blouse. O tal vez use una, una blusa de bajo corte. Why even wear the blouse at all? ¿Por qué te pones la blusa? Be Madonna and wear the bra on the outside. Se llama... <laughs> Se llama Madonna y usa el brasier por fuera. Okay. You wear, you know, I asked some of the boys, do you, are you wearing the seat seat at home? Y le pregunté a alguno de los muchachos, ¿usa el seat seat en casa? No, we got a mezuzah in the house. No, tenemos una mezuzah <laughs> en la casa. <laughs> you, how does, what does that, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? All right. Do everything you can. Haz todo lo que pueda. To be found without spot or defect. Para que te encuentres sin mancha y sin arruga. Do everything you can to do uh, according haz, to truth. Haz todo lo posible de acuerdo a la verdad. Next slide, Revelation 14. Próxima página, Revelación 14. Rabbi. Yes. The woman is supposed to cover the head at home too? A married woman? Yeah, I mean, yes. Yeah, a married woman. All the time? Yes. Shows that she's under her husband's authority. Una mujer casada debe de taparse su cabello todo el tiempo. Hasta Not while sleeping or in the shower. Hasta en la casa, no durmiendo o en, 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 en la ducha. Revelation 14, verse 4 and 5. En Revelación capítulo 14, versículos 4 y 5. These are the ones who have not defiled themselves with women. They are virgins. They follow the lamb wherever he goes. They have been ransomed from among humanity as first fruits for Elohim and the Lamb. On their lips, no lie was found. They were without defect. They are blameless. Okay, so these 144,000 virgin Jewish men. So 144,000 judíos eh, virgenes. Let me say it better. Huh? M messianic Jewish men. Eh, judíos messianicos. They virgenes. are without defect. Ellos están sin defecto. They follow the word 
completely. Ellos siguen la palabra completamente. Okay, going on to the next slide. En la próxima página. Now we've come to the beginning of the new study. Ahora hemos llegado al comienzo del nuevo estudio. We are now in Matthew 5, colon 8, Ahora está, dot 3. Estamos en Mateo 5, colon 8. Any questions 3. about the review? Hay preguntas sobre el repaso. Oscar, since he's suave. With respect to the 144,000, you say that they're going to follow Torah. How do you know that they're not going to be um, taught? How are they going to know that they're not being taught uh, Talmud? The 144,000 come after Seven seals. Los 144 mil vienen después de los siete sellos. Seven shofars. Siete shofares. Seven bowls. Siete copas. And they're the ones that call back Messiah. Y ellos son los que eh, llaman de regreso al Mesías. Talmud's going to be gone. El Talmud va a estar desaparecido. So are a lot of people. Y también muchas personas. Like two thirds of the world. Como dos tercios. Do, dos tercios del, del, del mundo. Oh, well, God always has his remnants. Yeah. Dios siempre tiene su remanente. Okay, but they're virgin, they're messianic Jews. Pero son judíos mesiánicos. Okay, because you re read the previous verses. Porque leímos los versículos previos. They have his name and his father's name. Tienen el nombre de él y de su padre. Now, uh, the Gentile has his name. El gentil tiene su nombre. That is Yeshua's name. Es el nombre de Yeshua. To have his father's name, you must be of the seed of Abraham. Para tener el nombre de su padre debe de ser del, del asiento de And Yitzhak. De Yitzhak y Jacob. And Jacob. Ok. La semilla. And here, even oh, without that information. Seed or seat? Seed. Ok, semilla. I heard seat. Seed. Yeah, I, I heard the seat of Abraham. El asiento de Abraham. Ok. Um, and Yeshua says here in verse 5. Yeshua dijo aquí en versículo 5. Revelation 19 verse, uh, Revelation 14 verse 5. Aquí en Revelaciones capítulo 14 versículo 5. Uh-huh. On their lips no lie was found there are without defect. He's the one who's saying that. Él es el que está diciendo eso. So then they must be just following Torah. Entonces ellos este, este, estarían siguiendo solamente Torah. Okay. So, um, They're innocent. Son inocentes. They have integrity. Tienen integridad. They are completely in accordance with the truth, the tamim. Están completamente de acuerdo con la, de, de acuerdo con la verdad. See, what, ha what happens a lot of times. Lo que sucede muchas veces. After destruction, people go back to really heavily following the word of God. Después de destrucción, la gente regresa eh, profundamente a, a, a buscar de Dios. A, a, Because we realize that disaster happened when we didn't follow God. Porque realizamos que el desastre ocurrió cuando no estábamos siguiendo a Dios. But it takes that a war and millions of lives being lost. Pero este toma una guerra y millones de, de vidas perdidas. For many societies to come back to fearing God. Para muchas sociedades regresar y temer a Dios. Because what we're heading for is war. Porque a lo que estamos llegando es a la guerra. One way or another we're going to head, head to war unless we start following God. De una manera u otra vamos a llegar a la guerra a menos que comencemos a buscar. After every Dios. major conflict there's always an, a swelling of God's word. Y cada, en cada conflicto mayor siempre hay un... Un crecimiento. A, a, un crecimiento. A love of God's word. Un, crecimiento, un crecimiento por la palabra de Dios. Un, un amor cre creciente por la palabra de But Dios. God, God even says about Israel. Dios hasta dice de Israel. He calls us uh, Jeshurun, Yeshurun. Lo llama Jeshurun. It is a pet name for Israel. Es un apodo para Israel. And he says you grew fat and y, you kicked against me. Y dice eh, engordaste. And many times that happens. Y muchas veces. With prosperous, prosperous societies. En una sociedad próspera. They forget, they, they forget about God. Se olvidan de Dios. And they become liberal idiots. Y se, se vuelven idiotas liberales. Like the Jews in 
France. Como los judíos en Francia. Voting for the moron, uh, Macron. Votando por el morón, Macron. But Le Pen was not much better. Le Pen no, no, no era tan bueno, digamos. Her father was an, is an open anti-Semite. Eh, su padre es un antisemita abierto. So you had dumb and dumber to choose from. Tenía estúpido y más estúpido para escoger. Sort of what we had in our election, but Trump's turning out to not be so bad. Eh, casi como tuvía, teníamos en nuestra elección, pero Trump no sucede, no sucede salir, salir muy mal. So you come back to the scripture. So regresamos a la, a la escritura. How do we get this 144,000? A lot of dead liberal Jews. Mucha, muchos judíos liber, liberales muertos. A lot of dead religious Jews. Muchos judíos muertos religiosos. A lot of dead Christians. Muchos cristianos muertos. A lot of dead people in the world. Mucha gente muerta. En el mundo. But then there's a small group. Entonces hay un remanente, un grupo pequeño. A remnant. Un remanente. That call him back. Que lo, que lo llaman de, de vuelta. Because they're the ones that are blessed because they're pure in heart. Que ellos son los que está, son bendecidos porque son de, de puro corazón. They're going to see God. Ellos van a ver a Dios. Ellos van a ver a Dios. Going back to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Matthew 5, 8, 3. Mateo 5, 8, 3. Heart. Corazón. Let's take the next uh, 45 minutes. Vamos a tomar los próximos 45 minutos. And learn about the heart. Y aprender sobre el corazón. Once again, we go to the next slide. Nuevamente vamos a la próxima página. We're going to look at the definition for the, the, the word cardia. Vamos a ver el significado para la palabra cardia. We're going to focus on definition number two. Nos vamos a enfocar en el significado número dos. Three. Tres. Four. Cuatro. Five. Cinco. And seven. Y el siete. Number definition for number two for cardia. El significado número dos para cardia. The center of your fear physical and spiritual life. El centro de tu vida física y espiritual. Number three. Número tres. Center and seat of spiritual life. Cen el centro y el asentamiento de, tu, de la vida espiritual. Like Shabbat should be the center huh? of your spiritual life. Sede. Sede. Para sede. 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 Okay. Sede. Seat. In this case, it's for a, for a place. Oh, okay. Sede. Right, Robert? This one is for a place. Seat. A seat. Like you're, like you're sitting on your tokus? Like a place, right? Like yeah, a, you're, 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 yeah. Sit, you're, you're in a seat. Asentamiento. Sede. Sede? Okay. And Martin asked about the 144,000. Um, well... A lot of things change, Martin. Muchas cosas cambian. When tribulation happens. Cuando este, sucede la tribulación. And when Yeshua separates the sheep from the goats. Y cuando Yeshua separa los, los chivos de, de, los, de las ovejas. Okay. Los cabros de las ovejas. So right now they're not teaching the Torah. So ahora no están enseñando Torah. Which is sad. Que es triste. Um, but a lot of times when... The proverbial hits the fan. Pero muchas veces cuando eh, cuando when the poop hits the fan. Cuando el, el poop le da el abanico. <laughs> That's when people separate. Es, es, yeah. That's when people separate. Es cuando la, cuando las cosas las cuando las cosas malas suceden cuando las personas se separan. There's a movie Defiance, which I think everybody should watch, and I might show it again here. Hay una película que se llama Defiance, y pienso que todos lo deben de ver. It's about the Jews in uh, the Russia-Poland border. Es, se trata de los judíos en la frontera de Rusia y po Polonia. During World War II. Durante la Segunda Guerra Mundial. And these Jews that lived in the same neighborhood but didn't talk to one another. Y estos judíos que vivían en el mismo 
vecindario y nunca se hablaban. All of a sudden found themselves in the forest fighting for their lives. De repente se encontraron en el bosque luchando por sus vidas. And they did something most Latin people couldn't do. Y hicieron una cosa que la mayoría de latinos no pueden hacer. They forgot their old problems and we were all Jews. Se olvidaron de sus viejos problemas y, y vieron que éramos todos judíos. So that's what may happen, Martin. Pero eso es lo que puede suceder. But a lot of stuff happened in that movie between the Jews, the uprising and, and the, the hate and the, the, the remorse. There was a lot of stuff that... It know, was three years. Yeah, but there was a lot of stuff that, that, that even Latins can probably overcome too. Yeah, I didn't. Well, I haven't seen it, and no, I haven't seen it in history. No lo he visto en historia. That's why they're trying to take history away. Por eso que están tratando de deshacerse de la historia. But we have the Bible. Pero tenemos la Biblia. It's a great history book. Es un es un gran libro de historia. When we follow it, cuando lo seguimos, we do great. Hacemos bien. And it's there to show our mistakes also. Y está ahí para mostrarnos nuestros errores. I would love to see people be able to forgive one another. Me gustaría ver que las personas se puedan perdonar el uno los unos al otro. Here. Everywhere, everywhere. And everywhere. But okay, what I've seen, that. what I've seen in history, lo que he visto en la historia, in studying the Hebrew people, estudiando eh, el pueblo hebreo, when they do, when the, the poop hits the fan, cuando las cosas malas suceden, like you see in uh, Fiddler on the Roof, como vi, vieron en Fiddler on the Roof, Laser Wolf and, and uh, Tevye. They hated each other. Ellos, lo, estos dos hombres se odiaban. But they hugged and said goodbye. Pero ellos se abrazaron y se despidieron. Because there's something inside of us. Porque hay algo dentro de nosotros. It is a covenant. Es un pacto. It is God's. Es, es de Dios. God's um, light. Es la luz de Dios. That we bury. Que nosotros enterramos. But when it, The poop hits the fan. Pero cuando las cosas malas ocurren, I'm going to stand next to my Jewish brother. Yo voy a, a parar firme al lado de mi, mi, mi hermano judío. And that's what we try to teach here. Y eso es lo que tratamos de enseñar. Forget aquí. that you're Puerto Rican. Olvídate que eres puertorriqueño. Forget that you're Colombian. Olvídate que eres colombiano. Let's all become Jews. Vamos a todos ser judíos. And that's what This heart is all about. Y de esto es lo que se trata el corazón. What is the center of your life? ¿Qué es el centro de tu vida? Yeshua was saying, Yeshua está diciendo, because he was in a Hellenistic society. Porque él estaba en una sociedad helenística. He was calling people back to repentance. Él estaba llamando la gente, el pueblo que regresara al arrepentimiento. And he was promising something. Y él estaba prometiendo algo. That if you Are pure in heart. Que si eres puro de corazón. If the center of your physical and spiritual life is Torah. Si el, el centro de tu vida física y, y espiritual es Torah. Then you will see God. Entonces verás a Dios. Number three. El número tres. Cardia is yeah. the seat, seat of your spiritual life. Es el sede. De tu vida espiritual. Es el sede, de la sede de su vida espiritual. Ok. Number four. Número cuatro. Cardia is your passion. Cardia es tus pasiones. Your desires, tus deseos, your purpose, tu propósito. You know, um, we're teaching in this school. Estamos enseñando en la escuela. And when I asked the kids about their devotion, y cuando le pregunté a los niños sobre su devoción, a real homeschooler kid, un un verdadero niño que estudia en casa, would understand what their purpose is. Va a entender lo que es su propósito. Because their mother has Suffered porque su madre ha sufrido. She's giving of her life to train her children. Está dando de su vida para entrenar a sus a su hijo, sus niños. Okay, these kids were help. We're trying to help. 
estos niños estaban tratando de, de eh, ayudar. But if they don't pick up the Bible themselves and read it, pero si ellos no eh, re, levantan la Biblia por ellos mismos y, y por y lo leen, it is the parents job to make sure that that gets done. Es el, el trabajo del padre que se asegure que eso se, se haga. But if the parent is not showing their own example, pero si lo, los padres no están mostrando su propio ejemplo, then The passions of that child are going to be for something else. Entonces las pasiones de esos ni de esos niños va a ser para otras cosas. Going on to the next slide. La próxima página. We're going to look at heart in the Tanakh, the va Old Testament. Vamos a ver a corazón en el Tanakh, en el Viejo Testamento. Going on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Okay. Uh, we're going to look at the definition of heart vamos in the Torah. A, vamos a mirar el significado de corazón en el Torah. This is a new definition. Este es una nue un nuevo significado. Okay, that lines up with the, the word cardia. Que se alinea este, con la palabra cardia. It is the Hebrew word lev. Es la palabra hebrea lev. Okay, it means the inner man. S significa el, el hombre interno. interno. The will, as in like your will to la root for the stinky Yankees. La, la voluntad. Okay. Yes. All right. The heart. El corazón. Understanding. Entendimiento. Lev, the definition number two. El lev, el significado número dos. The soul. El alma. The soul. El alma. Number three. Número tres. Mind. La mente. Knowledge. Sabiduría. Thinking. Pensar. Reflection. Reflexión. Memory. Memoria. Number four. Número cuatro. Determination. Determinación. Determination. Determinación. Number five. Número cinco. A seat as of appetites. Es sede de apetitos. Appetites. Apetitos. Like chocolate covered cherries. Como, yeah. Uh, Strawberries. Strawberries, yeah. Number six. <laughs> Número seis. Seat of emotion and passion. El sede de la, el sede de emociones y pasiones. And one of the key ones, number seven. Y una de las claves número siete. The seat of courage. El sede de coraje. To do something that nobody else is doing. Hacer algo que nadie más está haciendo. To do what nobody else is doing. Para hacer lo que nadie más está haciendo. I thought those were the new ones. Uh, Number seven. Number seven. Number 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 seven. Number seven. Seat of courage. Eh, sede de coraje. Now this place always hasn't hasn't always been filled up. Este lugar no no siempre ha estado lleno. For the first couple of years, we were like five or ten people. Los primeros par de años eh, teníamos cinco o diez personas. The other day when we went to go get chicken. El otro día cuando fuimos a buscar pollo, I showed Raved where where we started. Le mostré a Raved a donde comenzamos. And we were like 20 people in that room up there. Éramos 20 personas en ese like, wow. cuarto allá arriba. You went to Bergen Line? Bergen Line. Between 42nd and 43rd. <laughs> Entre la 42 y la 43. Okay. Um, you have to have courage. Tienes que tener coraje. Conviction. Co eh, convicción. In belief in God. Una creencia en Dios. When he calls you, cuando él te llama, you'll be able to do your job. Vas a poder hacer tu trabajo. Let's go on the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Let's go to the loafer. Vamos al lofre. Genesis 6 now. Genesis capítulo 6. Genesis 6 verse 5 through 8. Genesis capítulo 6 versículo 5 al 8. Now we're looking at blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. Estamos mirando bienaventurados los puros de corazón porque verán a Dios. We're looking at the, the first reference of the word heart. Estamos mirando la primera referencia de la palabra corazón. Genesis 6. Genesis 6. Verse 5 through 8. Versículo 5 al 8. Genesis 6. Genesis 6. 
verse 5 through 8. Versículo 5 al 8. Jehovah saw that the people on earth were very wicked, that all the imaginings of their hearts were always of evil only. Jehovah regretted that he made man on the earth. It grieved his heart. Jehovah said, I will wipe out man whom I have created from the whole earth. Not only man, but animals, creeping things and birds in the air. For I regret that I have ever made them. But Noah found grace in the sight of Jehovah. Amen? Amen. Okay? In their hearts. En, en sus corazones. In, their, in our hearts. En nuestros corazones. Lies good and evil. Mora el bien y el mal. And at that point in the world's history. Y en, a ese punto en la historia del mundo. The imaginings of our hearts. Las imaginaciones de nuestros corazones. Were Always on evil. Eran constantemente malvados. So, if you want to see God, si quieres ver a Dios, you have to become pure in heart. Tienes que ser puro de corazón. You can't just say I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. No, no simplemente puede, puedes decir que estás cubierto en la sangre de Jesús. You can't just uh, flop on the ground and say I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. Incantations. No te puedes tirar al piso y y Hablar incan incantaciones. Ok. Because in your heart. Porque en tu corazón. Lies evil. Mo eh, mora la maldad. It is in there. Está ahí. Now. The next part. La próxima parte. It's very interesting in verse 6. Es bien interesante en el versículo 6. Jehovah says it grieved his heart. Jehovah dijo que le hirió su corazón. So when we become evil, cuando nosotros nos no, no convertimos eh, malvado, it grieves his thoughts. Le hiere sus pensamientos. It grieves his endeavors. Eh, 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 le hiere sus esfuerzos. So Yeshua is living in a Hellenistic society. So Yeshua está viviendo en una sociedad helenística. His ministry is all about repentance. Su ministerio se trata de, de, del arrepentimiento. And here we are. Y aquí estamos. You know, grieving the Lord, his Father's heart. Eh, hiriendo el, el, el corazón del Padre. Because our purposes were not what God wanted. Porque nuestros propósitos no, no, no fueron lo que Dios quería. So Yeshua says, so Yeshua dice, If you're pure in heart, si eres puro de corazón, you will see God. Tú verás a Dios. If you change, if, you're, if your courage, si, si tu coraje, is to do what God wants. Es hacer lo que Dios quiere. It might hurt a little bit at first. Tal vez te duela al principio. But once you allow the Lord to start remaking you. Pero ya cuando permites que el Señor te vuelva a, a, a hacer. Then you'll live. Entonces vivirás. So here, Noah found favor in the sight of Jehovah. Entonces Noé este, eh, encontró favor en, en, en la presencia de Jehovah. He saw God. Él vio a Dios. He walked with him. Él caminó con Dios. Because he was pure in heart. Porque era puro de corazón. But when we don't, Pero cuando no lo hacemos, when we don't have this pureness, no tenemos esta pureza, then you're going to go get wiped away. Entonces vas a ser borrado. You're going to get washed away with the evil. Va a ser este, lavado con la maldad. Going on to the next slide. En la próxima página. Genesis 8. Genesis capítulo 8. Verse 20 to... 20, 20 and 21. Versículos 20 y 21. Genesis 8. Genesis capítulo 8. Verse 20 and 21. Versículos 20 y 21. Noah built an altar to Jehovah. Then he took from every clean animal and every clean bird. And he offered burnt offerings on the altar. Jehovah smelled the sweet aroma. And Jehovah said in his heart... I will never again curse the ground because of a man, since the imaginings of a person's heart are evil from his youth. Nor will I ever again destroy all living things as I have done. Amen? So,
Okay, so here, destruction had to occur. Tuvo que ocurrir la destrucción. So that the Lord could cleanse the earth of sin. Así el Señor pudo limpiar la, el mundo del pecado. So here, Noah saved his family. Aquí vemos que Noé salvó a su familia. Okay, because his heart was pure. Porque su corazón fue era puro. So he, they, they saw God. Entonces, e ellos vieron a Dios. They saw God. Ellos vieron a Dios. Now in verse 20. En el verso 20. How did Noah know what was clean and unclean? ¿Cómo es que Noé sabía que era impuro y puro? How did he know what was clean and unclean? ¿Cómo él sabía que era limpio e impuro? Because in his heart lied good and evil. Porque en su corazón estaba el bien y el mal. Okay. Grace, um, everything received grace. Todo recibió la gracia. Okay, because uh, the animals in the, in the ark received grace. Porque los animales en el arca también recibieron gracia. Because of what Noah's heart was doing. Por lo que el corazón de Noé estaba haciendo. You see how far the, the blessings extend? Ustedes pueden mirar cuán, uh, cuánto alcanzan las bendiciones. The blessings of a pure heart. Las bendiciones de un corazón puro. Extended to seven other people. Se extendieron hasta siete otras personas, siete personas. Okay, to seven other people. Siete personas. And all the animals of the earth. Y todos los animales de la tierra. Because of what Noah's heart was like. Por la causa, por cómo el corazón de Noé fue. So Yeshua is saying to us here. Yeshua nos está diciendo aquí. Blessed are you. Bendecidos ustedes. If you're pure in heart. Si son puros de corazón. Then you will see the hand of God in your life. Entonces verán la mano de Dios en sus vidas. But how do you know what, the, what is pure? Pero... ¿Cómo es que tú vas a saber que es puro? We're so blessed today. Eres, somos tan bendecidos hoy. Because one, we got the Old Testament. Porque uno, tenemos el Antiguo Testamento. We got the New Testament. Tenemos el Nuevo Testamento. We got Yeshua's example. Tenemos el ejemplo de Yeshua. And we have those that have made mistakes before us. Y tenemos aquellos que cometieron errores antes de nosotros. Look at verse 21. Verso 21. Jehovah smelled the sweet aroma and Jehovah said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground because of man, since the imaginings of a person's heart are evil from you, nor will I ever again destroy all living things as I have done. So here, Jehovah smelled the offering. Aquí vemos que Jehovah olió la ofrenda quemada. His appetite was, was fulfilled. Su apetito fue complacido. Because he smelled the, the aroma and was like, mmm, it's barbecue. Porque él olió el, eh, el, el aroma y dijo, es barbacoa. I've missed that barbecue for a year and I haven't had smelled a barbecue in a year. Because they're, they're in the ark for a year. Oh, oh sí. Yeah. Uh, but, but, um, me hizo falta el olor de la barbacoa, pero después de un año tuve el olor de barbacoa. Okay. And then Jehovah's heart, his, his affections. El corazón de Jehovah y su afecto. Blessed that family. Bendijo a esta familia. Blessed those people. Bendijo a esas personas. They were able to have children. Ellos pudieron tener hijos. And fill the world with, with people. Y volver a poblar o llenar el mundo con, con So blessed hijos. if you're pure in heart. Bendito si eres puro en el corazón. You're going to see God. Porque tú verás a Dios. You're going to have children. Vas a tener hijos. You're going to have security. Vas a tener seguridad. When the world is going bad. Cuando el mundo esté en, uh, en uh, mal. Now, how long did Noah build the ark? Por cuánto tiempo Noé construyó el arca? A hundred years. Por cien años. So he, you know, he gave the people of the world a long time. Eh, le dio al mundo a la a la humanidad un tiempo largo. Oscar. This was a thanks offering. Noah was giving. Thanks offering, yes. Esta era una ofrenda que um, Noé le estaba dando a Donai. Um, yeah, sí. this, uh, this, this was not an ola because it's a burnt offering. Esta no era una ofrenda de ola porque era una ofrenda quemada. So it's a burnt offering. Es una ofrenda quemada. It's the difference between a burnt offering and thanks offering. 
es una ofrenda entre, uh, hay diferencia entre ofrenda quemada y ofrenda de hola. The, the thanks offering you eat, that's an hola, this one's not an hola. La ofrenda de agradecimiento uh, se come y la quemada no. It doesn't say he ate of it. Y no dice que él comió de, 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 de ella. It was Rob, a burnt, yes. Could that offering be in an uh, atonement of the sins? I mean, I know the Lord cleared the, 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 the whole world, but um, could Noah have made an offering of atonem, atonement for sins? That's very interesting that you I'm would just, ask that question. It's a hypothesis. Would, would you have any uh, scripture to give us any information about that? I'll say because it's, uh, it's a, uh, you know, after, uh, there was death because of sin. Why he makes this offering, one does not know. What? Why Noah makes this offering, we are not told. No, ya, yeah. ¿Por, qué, por qué Noé no hizo esta ofrenda, no se nos ha dicho. We can surmise Podre, podríamos este, pensarlo that it was a thanks offering, que fue una ofrenda de agradecimiento, but we don't know what animal he offered. pero tampoco sabemos qué animal ofreció. If we knew what animal he offered, si hubiéramos sabido qué animal ofreció, that would help us to discern. Dios nos hubiera ayudado a discernir. We, you know, uh, 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 he, from every clean animal, well, we know every clean animal. Eh, sabemos de cada animal limpio. So, it could be a, a, a sin offering. Of the, I mean, it could, if you, if you want to take all that. Si quieres este, pensar hasta, es, hasta ese extremo. Then it's an everything offering. Entonces, una ofrenda de todo. Because if you take it all the way out. Si lo, si lo tomas de esa manera. It's an ¿sí? inadvertent offering. Es una ofrenda de error. It's a sin este offering. Inadvertido, una ofrenda de pecado. Because it's of every clean animal. Y es un, porque son animales en every clean peace bird. offering. It's a peace offering. <laughs> y una ofrenda de paz. It's the 50 offerings. Es las, ofre, las 50 ofrendas. The offering of the sin, I think, was like the Smith. I think it was like dance because everybody died. But it's every clean animal. Pero es cada animal limpio. So if it's every clean animal, si hay cada animal limpio, then you need a cow for a inadvertent offering. Entonces necesitas una vaca para un uh, pecado inadvertido. But you, it says of. Uh, then he took from every clean animal. Dice aquí que él tomó de cada animal limpio. And you know within inside a year they had at least one set of babies. Y sabes que dentro de un año ellos tuvieron sus crías. Ellos procrearon. I would think so. You get a male and a female bunny together, what's going to happen? Si un uh, un conejo macho y hembra están juntos, ¿qué crees que va a pasar? The only thing we don't see procreating in the in the ark is the people. Lo único que no estaban procreando en el arca era la gente. Because they were busy. But, um, I would, I would surmise Yo that the animals procreated. Que los animales procrearon. Because then if he took from every clean animal, then there's only six if you do it, you know, both the male and the female, the couples. Porque si, si tomó de cada animal, entonces quedarían solo seis parejas. And, but you said if you kill the male without the female, what? Si mata al macho y no a la hembra, entonces no hay pareja. But that is not the study tonight. Pero ese no es el estudio de esta noche. Okay. But what he did do. Pero lo que él sí hizo. Blessed are the pure in heart. Bendito los puros de corazón. They're going to see God. Ellos van a ver a Dios. And the Lord, and then. In verse 21, we see God's heart. Y en el verso 21, vemos el corazón de Dios. Going on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Proverbs 16, verse 1 through 5. Proverbios 16, versos 1 al 5. Proverbs, Michelle 16. Proverbios 16. Verse 1 through 5. Versos 1 al 5.
Let's see what we got here. How many slides? One, three, two. We're not getting through it all. <laughs> 20 slides. <laughs> oh, I didn't finish this. Okay. Shift F5. Okay. Proverbs 16, verse 1 through Proverbs, 5. Proverbs 16, verses 1 al 5. A person is responsible to prepare his heart, but how the tongue speaks is from Jehovah. All a man's ways are pure in his own view, but Jehovah weighs his spirit. If you entrust all you do to Jehovah, your plans will achieve success. Jehovah made everything for its purpose, even the wicked, for the day of disaster. Jehovah detests all those with proud hearts. Be assured that they will not go unpunished. Amen? Amen. So, you're responsible, Tú eres responsable for your heart. De tu corazón. You're responsible for your thoughts. Tú eres responsable de tus pensamientos. Your passions. Tus pasiones. Your desires. Tus deseos. Your affections. Tus afecciones. So that's why you have to desire the word of God. Por eso es que tú tienes que desear la palabra de Dios. And have a passion for it. Y tener una pasión de, para esto. If you have a passion for it. Si tienes pasión por la palabra de Dios. Most of the time... Uh, Um, your children will have a, a similar passion. La mayoría de veces tus hijos van a tener una pasión similar. But sometimes they don't. Hay veces que no. But we have the, the story of the prodigal son. Pero tenemos historia del hijo pródigo. Okay. But you're responsible. Each person is responsible. Pero cada persona es responsable. We train up a child in the way that they should go. Entrenamos a los hijos de la manera que deben ir. And you're responsible to, to prepare your heart. Y tú eres responsable de preparar tu corazón. Um, verse 2. Verso 2. All a man's ways are pure in his own view, but Jehovah weighs the spirit. If you have the appetite of God's word. Si tienes apetito por la palabra de Dios. The thoughts of Torah. Los pensamientos de Torah. To be Messiah-like. Para ser como el Mesías. Then your ways will be pure. Entonces tus caminos serán puros. But if you say you follow Messiah, Pero si tú dices que sigues al Mesías, and don't do anything he ever did, y no haces lo que él ha hecho, like what's what's Sukkot? Como que I love oh, Sukkot. I'm sorry. You know, I, 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 love, I love hearing Christians. You know, you're gonna you're gonna celebrate Sukkot. Yeah. What's that? A los cristianos se les pregunta, van a celebrar Sukkot y dicen qué es eso. Or are you going to celebrate Shavuot? O vas a celebrar Shavuot? What's that? ¿Y qué es eso? Then you don't have the same passions that Yeshua did. Entonces no tienes las mismas pasiones que Yeshua. Yeshua was all about his father's business. Yeshua eh, eh, se trataba todo, para él se trataba todo de, de su padre. And you're not going to see God in a good way. Y no vas a ver a Dios de una buena manera. But if you're pure in your heart. Pero si estás puro de corazón. In your endeavors. En tus uh, endeavors, esfuerzos. What does what is endeavors? ¿Qué es endeavors, esfuerzo? What is your endeavors? ¿Qué es endeavors, esfuerzo? Each week I endeavor to enter into Shabbat with Shalom. Cada semana yo me esfuerzo para entrar en Shabbat con Shalom. Each week. Cada semana. I have an appetite for that challah. Tengo un apetito por esa challah. Each week, Cada semana, my desire is to reach another Shabbat. Mi deseo es estar en otro Shabbat. Each week, Cada semana, my thoughts are about honoring God on His day. Mis pensamientos están centrados en honrar a Dios en este día. Your view must become God's view. Tu, tu punto de vista debe convertirse en el punto de vista de Dios. Okay, verse 4. Verso 4. Jehovah made everything for its purpose, even the wicked for the day of disaster. Okay. Well, what? Why would he make the wicked? ¿Por qué él pudo haber hecho al malvado? Why would he make the wicked? ¿Por qué él pudo haber hecho al malvado? Because 
you have to see what the difference is between good and bad. Porque tú tienes ver, que ver cuál es la diferencia entre el bien y el mal. Will you see that they're getting blessed? Will you see that they're getting blessed? Puedes ver que están siendo bendecidos. And desire what they have. Y desear lo que ellos tienen. You know, when you're being, you know, you're like, Lord, why are you, know, you're helping, you know, so and so. Y cuando tú te quejas de ese Señor, pero ¿por qué le diste esta oportunidad tal y tal? Now verse 5. Verso 5. Jehovah detests all those with proud hearts. Jehovah, be, be assured that they will not go unpunished. Proud hearts doesn't mean proclaiming Torah. Corazones altivos no se trata de la proclamación de Torah. I've been accused a lot of having a proud heart. Yo he sido acusado de, ser, de tener un corazón altivo, orgulloso. No, don't, don't misunderstand my assuredness on my father's word. No me malentiendas mi seguridad en la palabra del padre. As proudness. Con orgullo. It's my altivez. foundation. Es mi fundamento. And I'm solid on my foundation. Y yo estoy sólido en mi fundamento. Oh, you're so proud on e Torah. Eres muy orgulloso, altivo en la Torah. Thank you very much. Gracias. I'm 100% legalistic. Soy 100% legalista. It's not proudness. No es orgullo. It's a foundation. Es un fundamento. And anybody who says that is always preaching against the Torah. Y alguien que diga eso es que está enseñando en contra de la Torah. You can have his pureness Puedes tener su pureza, or the world's pureness. O la pureza del mundo. You want to see God, ¿Quieres ver a Dios? then you have to have a pure heart. Vas a tener que tener un corazón puro. Going on to the next slide. Próxima página. Psalm 119, Salmo 119, verse 9 through 11. Versos 9 al 11. Psalm 119, Salmo 119, Verses 9 al 11. Psalm 119. Psalm 119. Verse 9 through 11. Verses 9 al 11. How can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Don't let me stray from your mitzvot. I treasure your word in my heart so that I won't sin against you. Amen. Amen. Blessed are the pure in heart. Bendito los puros de corazón. For they will see God. Porque ellos verán a Dios. But only if in the treasure in your heart Pero únicamente si el tesoro en tu corazón is God's word. Es la palabra de Dios. His mitzvot. Sus mandamientos. Okay. Uh, how can a young man keep his way pure? ¿Cómo un joven puede guardar su camino? By guarding it. Cuidando de él. How do you guard your heart? ¿Cómo cuidas de tu corazón? How do you guard your heart? ¿Cómo cuidas de tu corazón? Well, you need to do your devotions every day. Necesitas hacer tu tu le leer tu, tu palabra, tu tiempo con Dios cada día. You need to have your appetite. Necesitas tener tu apetito. And your passions. Y tu pasión. And your affections. Y tu afección. For God's word. Por la palabra de Dios. This is how you keep your ways pure. Así es como mantienes tus caminos puros. You know, I asked a, one of the students today. Le pregunté a uno de los estudiantes hoy. How many, uh, how many verses, what did you read for your devotion? ¿Qué leíste para tu devocional? And the person said, uh, la, verse 21 to 31. Y la persona dijo del verso 21 al 31. I said, really? Y digo, de veras. How much did you eat today? ¿Cuánto comiste hoy? How much did you eat yesterday? ¿Cuánto comiste ayer? Did you eat three meals yesterday? ¿Comiste tres comidas oh, ayer? Oh, yes, I ate three meals. Sí, yo comí tres comidas. So his appetite was for the word Su apetito era por of la food por la palabra, por la comida. With her mother saying, come get it. Pero la, I'm sorry. Come and get it. Oh, y ven, ven y tómalo. But their desire was not for the pure truth. Pero su deseo no era por la verdadera la pura verdad. I think what, what a lot of parents should do and even for themselves. Yo creo que muchos padres deben hacer incluso para ellos mismos. Got to read a chapter before you eat. Tienes que comer un capítulo antes de leer un capítulo antes de comer. <laughs> you got to read, read a chapter before you eat. Tienes que leer un capítulo antes de, le, de comer. 
Before you go to bed. Antes de ir a la cama. You got to read a chapter. Tienes a minimum. que leer un capítulo por lo mínimo. Before you get going in your day, you got to read a chapter. Antes de comenzar tu día, tienes que leer un capítulo. So that way you get at least five or six chapters in each day. Así de esta manera tú vas a tener vas a leer cuatro o cinco capítulos por día. Here we have the word pure. How do you keep how does a young man keep his way pure? Aquí tenemos la palabra pura. ¿Cómo un joven puede guardar su palabra su camino puro? How is he going to see God? ¿Cómo es que él va a ver a Dios? By making his spiritual life haciendo de su vida espiritual his passions, sus pasiones, his endeavors, sus esfuerzos, fully surrounding God's word. Rodeando completamente la palabra de Dios. Look at verse 11. Verse 11. I treasure your word in my heart so I won't sin against you. If your treasure si tú atesoras is God's word, la palabra de Dios, then you'll survive and be part of the 144 if you're a virgin Jew. Entonces sobrevivirás y serás parte de los 144 mil judíos vírgenes si eres judío. But if you want to survive, Pero si quieres sobrevivir, the wars, las guerras, the, the war, famine, and plague, la guerra, la hambruna y la plaga, then the treasure in your heart has to be his word. Entonces el tesoro que está en tu corazón debe ser su palabra. Because Yeshua said, "How blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God." Porque Yeshua dijo, "Cuán puros son los, cuán bien, bienaventurados son los puros de corazón, porque ellos verán a Dios." You have to not sin against God. No vas a tener que pecar en contra de Dios. How do you know if you're sinning against God if you can't even quote the Ten Commandments? ¿Cómo sabes si estás pecando en contra de Dios si no sabes ni los diez mandamientos? How do you know if you're not sinning? ¿Cómo tú sabes si no estás pecando? If you can't know the Ten Commandments or si, minimum of that. Si no puedes ni siquiera citar los diez mandamientos. Next slide. Próxima página. Make this the last one. Esta va a ser la última página. Let's just, just check something. Yeah, we'll stop on this one. Vamos a parar en esta página. And we'll take some questions. Y después tomaremos preguntas. Uh, Exodus 8, verse 5, uh, 15. Éxodo 8, verso 15. Exodus 8, verse 15. Éxodo 8, verso 5. 15, perdón. Exodus 8, verse 15. Exodus 8, verso 15. Exodus 8, verse 15. Exodo 8, verso 15. But when Pharaoh saw that he had been given some relief, he made himself hard-hearted, and he would not listen to them, just as Jehovah said would happen. Was Pharaoh pure? Era Pharaoh un puro? Will he see God? Él vería a Dios. He's going to see God's power against him. Él va a ver el poder de Dios en contra de él. Now, he, this is very interesting. Esto es algo muy interesante. It says in verse 15, he made himself hard-hearted. Dice aquí en el verso 15 que él endureció su corazón. A lot of people do the same thing. Mucha gente hace lo mismo. You tell them about the holy days. Les, di les dices de los días santos. You tell them about the, the commandments. Les hablas de los mandamientos. And they fight every inch of the way. Y ellos pelean en cada momento. And in the end, they're not going to be getting in. Y al final no van a entrar. Okay? Pharaoh made himself hard-hearted. Faraón endureció su corazón. Because his desire was to feed him his own self. Porque su deseo era complacerse el mismo. His passion was for himself. La pasión de él era para él mismo. His spiritual life was about himself. Su vida espiritual se trataba de él mismo. So Yeshua is saying here. Yeshua está diciendo aquí. Blessed are the pure in heart. Bienaventurados los puros de corazón. For they will see God. Porque ellos verán a Dios. Now what's so important also about this? ¿Qué es tan importante acerca de esto? When you see God. Cuando ves a Dios. He will release you from bondage. Él te liberará de la esclavitud. Let me say that again. Déjame repetir otra vez. If you're pure in heart, 
si eres puro de corazón, then you will see God. Entonces tú verás a Dios. Like if you're really pure in heart, you're a smoker. Como si tú eres puro corazón y fumas. If you're really pure in heart, eres realmente puro de corazón. And you truly want to give up that cigarette. Y realmente quieres dejar ese cigarrillo. God will help you. Dios te ayudará. If you really get, want something out of your life, si quieres sacar algo de tu de tu vida de, de de veras. Some sort of self-destruction thing. Alguna cosa que te va a destruir. If you seek God purely, y tú buscas a Dios uh, puramente, then God will bless you. Entonces Dios te va a bendecir. All right. Any uh, questions, Denise? Before when you were um, saying about the weighing of the spirit, you had mentioned it appetite for God's word, following the Torah. But there were like two more things you said that I, I couldn't catch up to you. Appetite for God's word. It, what does weighing of the spirit mean? When it's, um, let me, hold on, let me find Psalm, the. Psalm 16, uh, Proverbs 16. Yes. 16.2, when it says, but Adonai weighed the spirit. Jehovah's going to weigh your spirit. Jehovah va a pesar tu espíritu. In de your desire of trying. Y tu deseo de intentar. Sort of like the message the other day. Así como el mensaje del otro día. Were you unable or unwilling? Pudiste hacerlo o no, pu o no querías hacerlo? Unable. No podías. Or unwilling. O no querías hacerlo. He's going to weigh your spirit. Él va a pesar tu espíritu. Okay. That's what I wanted to clarify. All right. Thank you. Anybody else on WebEx? Anybody on Skype? You guys have been quiet today, except for Oscar. All right. All right, let's pray Oremos. and close this day on slide number 30, 32, 32, 32. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings today. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a very clear picture of what you want so far in a pure heart that our appetites, our, our desires, our affections should be for your word and your ways. And when we do that, we, will, we know that we are going to see you. So allow people to see this truth, Lord. That the more they try to do your will, not just to get blessings, but to bless you, the more that they will see God. In your name, Yeshua. Amen. Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to The Remnant's Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, BethGoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, BethGoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M dot org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. Give it a
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture, truly the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our King's Word. We close this Shabbat together with a reading of the New Week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and Biblical Holy Day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, YESHUA. Shalom.